Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to show you the conditional actions in Photoshop CS 6.1. I have had a series about actions here on PSD Touch Plus recently, but now we have in this new improved version of the actions a conditional option, which means we can have a set of actions and decide which one to use depending on what kind of image do we have in Photoshop. I am going to show you a very simple set of actions and we are going to create it in this tutorial and then test it. Basically, I want to add a watermark onto my photographs and depending on whether it's a portrait or a landscape format, I will have to create separate actions for them. But then, once we have both the landscape and the portrait version, so this will be like a portrait where I can create the action, this will be the landscape format. Once we have the two actions, we will create an if conditional action, which will be able to decide the type or the aspect ratio of the images. So I can run a batch on several images and Photoshop will be able to decide which action to use on which images. So it sounds a bit complicating, but let's just see how it works. Very simple to do this. I am going to create a new folder in the actions panel and I'm going to call this watermark. Let me spell that properly. So we have watermark and I'm going to create a new action which will be called landscape. Okay, so landscape. And I'm going to use the type tool and click on the image and type in my copyright uh, details, my name, and then I set the opacity of this uh, to 30% and put it here on the bottom. Now, I also would like to make sure that the image is flattened. So I will click here in the layers panel and choose flatten image, and then I press save. So I save it and all this will be saved into the action. So now I can stop the action and I can actually go back a couple of steps and save this image as it was originally. So now I have uh, the action saved. Let me do the portrait version as well. So I will select watermark uh, folder, create a new action. This will be my portrait version. And uh, just like before, I start with the type tool and I type in again my name like that set it to 30 percent and move it here on the bottom left and then i'm going to flatten the image and save this image click on ok and stop the action now i just go back a couple of steps again and save the image as it was originally so now i have these two actions saved and i can create a third action again i click on new and that will be my if action I record it and all I need to do here and that is the new feature go to the drop down of the actions panel and choose insert conditional so a conditional action and as you can see here we have loads of them so we can use lots of conditions but I would like to use document is landscape so that is the uh, option if current document is landscape then play action landscape else if it's not landscape, then play the portrait. So that's the very simple way to set this up, the conditional action, and I click on OK. And that's all that I need in this action. So I can stop it now, and I have all three ready. So I have the if conditional action, the portrait and landscape watermark uh, actions as well ready. So now I can go back to bridge. And as you can see here in this folder, I have three landscape images and three portrait format images. So I am going to select all six of them and I am going to Tools, Photoshop, Batch. And in Batch, I can find the watermark set of actions and I can choose If. Once I click on OK, it will go through all these images. And if we go to Bridge, you can see it will all have the watermark on them. Exactly the way I wanted to use them. So now with the conditional actions, you can save even more time and automate even more complicated image editing processes with Photoshop CS 6.1.